Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for your patience with me the last couple of days. I've been very slow to upload, and the things I have uploaded I've had issues with, but hopefully we're going to get ahead of that now. We just played a Fobo Log run, so I'm not in a rush to do it again. Though I do see some cool stuff. This would be been a fun, um... I don't think this is a better option. Ugh. I have to think about this. And that completely killed my train of thought, which I'm like, sorry about that. But basically, oh, th I, I thought this was Fobolog, not Saturn Systems. Oh, okay. I think we feel okay about this. Like, obviously, this this is a really solid turn one move. The only issue is how do we get the steel? And we need both of these to get the steel in the long run if we don't use... I like this too, but... But what? But what? 15 bucks leaves me with like 30 bucks. Anyways, moral of the story is things have been hard to get through lately. So thank you for your patience. And I'm going to try and get more consistent with my uploads. And I'm very excited about this week's guild challenge, which I hopefully will have a chance to record that later today. All right, I think we are on track now. I'm going to do the cheaper source of energy that I have. And then I can build this. And I really really wanted to have two steel left because I won't get to activate this next turn but I can get this the turn after to get future steel so we'll have to find a way to get more steel in the following turn yikes I mean it's, it's a seven dollar increase right like it's quite substantial. It's a really good card to start with. I mean, I'll grab these cards. And then I'm going to play my giant space mirror so that I have four energy production. And now in the future, we can get steelworks going and that will put up the oxygen and everyone's going to be happy and the steelworks will not only put up the oxygen, it will give us the steel which will sell for money and then we'll be rich and then all of a sudden we'll have seven science tags and uh, everyone will be happy. In fact, here's a science tag, I'll take it, I'll take it and that leaves us with just enough. I didn't actually check, I really should have checked. Uh, but it turned out we have just enough money anyway. There's like a drill going on out there, like a jackhammer. I hope that doesn't come across too disturbingly. Okay, so now we have effectively two steel production and a titanium production and an oxygen per generation. Starting in the third, which is like 12 bumps. Advanced Alloys, really good. Honestly, I like all of this. Cheap Oceans. We sell a steel. The biggest issue I see now is oxygen, but we're actually getting oxygen by putting things up. So... You know, say what you need to say, I guess. I don't see why not nuke the planet. We're gonna nuke it here for a card, so if I get a cheap mining area, I uh, can do just that. We got gene repair. We have one, two, three, four total science tags right now. Nothing to scoff at. Nothing. 
our income is coming up slowly over time because we have you know four or five TR. I'm tempted to get this stuff. I feel like at this point I've already gotten way too many cards, but I kind of like it, you know. A little bit of energy I think is very useful because it will help us have more heat. And honestly, that's kind of where my heart's at right now. So let's get this. Even though it hurts our like our, our ME income, MC income, it's still worthwhile. Now I could get decomposers, or I could get viral enhancers, and they functionally do the same thing, except playing this first. I'm not sure. I think, like, because if you play this first, you can technically get two plants from it. If you play this first, then you can get a plant from the enhancing and a decomposer. I'm just going to do the viral enhancing, I think. Which, if we're in a pinch, we can use that plant for, uh, for selling it for $7. I really don't like selling plants. I think that they have a lot of value. Nitrogen rich. That's that's loud. They're banging out there. I'm gonna take just one more. Still loud, but. I, uh, if it persists, I might do something else to try and stem that. Alright, so, we're pretty pogged out of our minds right now to see Olympus Conference. How desperate are we for the science tag? One. Four. Five, okay. And we don't have plant tags? We do have one plant tag. I do love me some nitrogen rich asteroid. It's a very compelling card, but I think we can't afford it. We can't we can't afford much, to be honest. So I'm gonna sell that plant. It said in a pinch and I didn't want to do it, and then I'm like, but we have advanced alloys. And I wanna buy this this round, and I wanna get gene repair, and you know. It's a whole thing. Like, we gotta repair people's genes, you know? That's the fastest way to terraform this planet, is to repair the genes of the people. Their Levi's are ripped. Generation 7. How do we feel? I don't know, because the oxygen's coming up pretty quick, and here's another example of a cheap ocean. And honestly, carbonate processing. I don't mind if I do. Mostly because it costs steel to do, and we'll have an extra steel every round. I'm trying to think of where I would put that ocean. I think I want the two titanium from it, right? That's worth a lot of cash monies. I only got five income. I mean, it's five income, what, five times? No, seven times. So it's 35 bucks. It, it is profitable to do. It's just not... Uh, I don't know. It's just so expensive to make that profit, but I think it's still pretty good. I could have done Deimos down or something, but... Yo, Space Elevator.
So finally we got the next heat bump. It's very notable for us. Our oxygen is climbing rapidly. We're going to sell steel for five bucks. Then I'm going to take... Let me think about what. how much does Deimos Down give us back? It gives us four steel. That four steel is worth... Um, 12 bucks, 16 bucks once you include the titanium. Oh, I guess you don't get to. So 12 bucks plus the nine is only 21. We can't get Deimos down and then space elevator. But we sure as heck can get space elevator. And it's not even that good selling a steel for five dollars and the steel's worth, you know, almost just as much. Um, just as steel, but a hard time not taking that trade, you know? And I think we just take this 11 bucks the next gen. Some nine cards in hand. Good heat. Why is this hovered over? I don't know. Jeez Louise. I like the protected valley, but I don't think I need it. Meanwhile, the space events are good events, so you gotta take those. And then we sell some steel for 12 bucks. I mean, that feels good. Our money is definitely not hurting when we do that. I think I want to Deimos. Just can't quite figure out what it's all for, you know. Like, I don't know. Like, we have five science tags. This is six. Really wanted to be at seven, but that's the story of my life. The story of my life, it keeps us home, keeps us warm in time, frozen. I don't know. The song, clearly. Um, I can get both of these. So I will. I thought I already played Decomposers, but obviously I was confused. So if I do this for four bucks, that does not leave me enough for Nitrolithic Moss. So I'll just play Nitrolithic. And hopefully when we play this, I plan on putting it here by the way, between the two cities that are neutral and getting us a bunch of plants. Let's get that one science tag though, please. It's like only generation 10 now, right? Yeah, okay. We've, we've got some decent amounts of terraforming. I would argue. IO is real expensive. But I don't feel too bad about it. Because we have the oxygen being taken care of, we can focus on spacey stuff. Oh, and we're Saturn Systems? Oh my god. That's our first Jovian. I, I genuinely forgot that we were Saturn Systems. I just picked them because our choice was so bad the other way around. That is absolutely funny to me like I was like oh I guess I'll take a titanium production and a little bit of starting cash it's, it's fine um, no it turns out Wow turns out we get extra income when you play a freaking Jovian tag because we're Saturn freaking systems that's so funny to me I'm blown away 
I mean, it's a great run to be them because we don't need to greenery hard at all or build the cities and stuff. It, or sorry, it would be a great run uh, if we had cards that made sense. These are really good for us. A one-point animal and a card that makes four one-point animals. I mean, I guess you could say that the... Uh, Birds isn't the best one-point animal. I don't know, it actually kind of is, because I think we've already seen livestock go by. I mean, I love Earth Office. Love me some bushes. Which enhances, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to buy a greenery. It's going to be the only greenery I buy, but... It just feels... It feels right, because that allows us to get birds, right? No, it doesn't. Oh my god, I thought that would give us birds, because it was double bump. But I needed to be at 12. I should have double checked. But I really should have bought an aquifer, my god. I'll buy an aquifer. Just build out this little nook down here, I guess. And let's let's see what happens. We have a lot of TR. Forty income from TR. Really, should, I really love getting the oxygen bumps early, man. Bra, Brabruski. Look at all this uh, energy production we can get. That's going to be very helpful, because I have a physics complex. Or, if I don't use the physics complex, I have the, the other card there. You know, the other card. I'm going to buy this aquifer here. We still never got our, um, our science tag again. We got to six, didn't we? Oh no, that's it! Oh, I'm a dum-dum. Yeah, I'm a dumb dumb. I think it's still worth getting. So that's some science. That's some science. This is some science. Birds are good. We can enhance it right away for an extra bird, then a decomposer, then we activate birds to get more birds. Bud, bud. And then we're going to overpay with the titanium here to get, what's that? What is it? What was what, what that? Four more birds. You're damn right. And then it'll give us a bunch of cards, which is good. I mean, I need the mine, right? And if I use the mine, I can use the Great Escarpment. And now I have two steel income, so I don't need to do my steel activation, and I can do my physics complex. Nice. Nice. I like it. Don't get me wrong, two steel is worth six bucks, but, you know, you gotta live fast and die free. Pretty cheap for some plants. I don't know where the best place to put that city is, though. Yeah, physic. Animal. Yeah, that's right. We got a lot of animals now. Hell yeah, we got 22 points on cards. And don't get me wrong, I saw Callisto Pinot Mines, which is which is pretty sweet. Um
Like, I do want this. And I think I want to put it here. This will have four adjacent spots. It only has one right now, but the money back is valuable enough. So this is worth four plants. Now what are we going to get rid of? Well, protected habitats, of course. So we still need a lot of heat bumps. Ooh, Lake Marineris though. Lake Marineris plus our free one means we don't need permafrost extractors. That's pretty sweet, I must say. Can't believe we played Saturn Systems without Jovians. And I didn't even realize it. Like, I didn't even make, like, a big deal of it. I was like, eh, whatever. Like, I'm so used to these bad starts at this point that I'm like, yep, you know, whatever. I'm so cool. I don't even care about bad starts. I'm above that. I think we can do it if we just, at this point, we basically just have to standard project our way to, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So this is actually good for us. That would have been fun, but we need to basically do just, uh... I don't know, I'm trying to think of where I want to put my last two oceans. We basically just have to do heat bumps, which is the reason why I'm going to attempt to draw some more cards by going here and here. I like waiting on selling the uh, the plant in real life, but in this game I'm too afraid I'll miss it and forget to factor it into my maths. So I'm gonna overpay for this bad boy. Cause that just that's good. I need all those heat bumps though, right? Like, can I do it? Yeah. Well, this feels great. <laughs> Ugh, wow, how devastating is that? Um, oh, I have mangroves. I'm going to buy mangroves all the way over here. I should have factored that into the fact that I was buying cards. Uh, you are an obvious grab. So now I just need... I'm going to get it two granaries total. Um, I'm going to get two granaries total. Unless I got six more plants. Which is just frankly not going to happen. I could build around this city like I thought I was. But since I have an additional city, I might as well get money back from the adjacencies. Which gave me enough for that card. Here's the thing, is I can sell this card, and sell this card. And now I'm one dollar short from a point. But I'd rather get two points. So. You know. We're blessed with having options. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. Let's see what we scored. We had 37 VP on cards. That snuck up in a hurry. Oh my god. I mean, we, we have an abysmal board presence. You know, a couple of cities. Well, we have a decent number of greeneries, considering the fact that almost all of our oxygen was... Felt like it was done with our action. But yeah, 106 points. No Jovians required. No Jovians required. I say that, but I had Io and Callisto and stuff. But, like, 
I think I think we literally had two Jovians beyond our first card. So Io was only worth three points for forty bucks. Like, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.